Hey, 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 we are here today, uh, Tuesday the 31st with our math lesson. So, we're gonna continue with our nine grits, what we did yesterday. So I'll show you a picture, if you guys don't remember. So yesterday, remember how we did, that is my dog with his your toy. I'm gonna give him another toy before we can't hear anything. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully, yes, I am back. All right, friends, so nine grids. You see this? It's uh, the nine patch grids. So with the nine patch grids, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. Same concept, a little different. Hopefully you guys have scissors. If so, we need scissors, a piece of paper. It can be a paper from your composition notebook if you really wanna like tear it out, you're more than welcome to. Um, if that's the only paper you have, and a pencil. So if you don't have scissors, that's all right. You can use your handy dandy mouth. I've, I've ripped off sheets like this, which actually, either you're gonna cut two squares or you're going to use your tongue. So what's nice about uh, when you lick this, it basically kind of like creases it and then fold it back the opposite way. Hopefully you have scissors, if not, I work around it. So. And when you rip it, it rips so smooth, <laughs> so nice. What we're gonna do is we're gonna actually, I'm gonna fold this in fours because we're gonna work with four nine patch squares, if that makes sense. If not, it will make sense, I promise. All right, fold in half, crease it, use your fingernail, lick it. It's probably not the best. If you don't like germs. All right, so I have four squares, right? I have four squares. I'm gonna utilize those squares on my table and I'm going to switch to my projector camera. I'm gonna share my screen. We're gonna come over here. And hello, hello, let me see. Hopefully it should hook up to, yes. Oh, perfect. Okay, so on my four squares, we're going to just use one. We're gonna do the same thing we did yesterday. So I'm gonna draw three columns and three rows. One, two, three, one, two, three, awesome. So you guys can see that. I will, let me actually do it with my permanent marker. That way it's a little bit easier for you guys to see. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, so on that first square, pause the video if I'm going too fast, pause it and then you can always catch up. All right, so I'm going to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna color five. One, two, three, four, five. Now, hopefully you guys can see that. Let me go grab a highlighter, some other color marker. All right, so pink, you can't really see. I don't know why, not today. There we go. I'm gonna use this blue, be like pink and blue. Perfect. Work with what you have, my friends. If you don't have anything, please just watch the video. All right, so it looks like a T, right? I'm going to find my other pieces and I'm actually, I'm gonna do the same exact thing for the next three pieces. So I'm gonna draw three columns, three rows, it equals nine. Remember three, six, nine. If you need to, just count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All equals nine. So I do move quickly. You guys already know this. <laughs> if you need to, pause the video, my friends. You guys always tell me, you 
you write so fast. Well, yeah, I've already been to first grade, my friends. All right, they don't need to be nice and neat, but we do need them to be able to like kind of like move around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same exact thing as this pattern. So your pattern doesn't have to be the same as mine, but it will help you at first. I'll make another one with you guys, I promise. So I'm gonna make a T right here. I'm gonna make a T right here. And if you want, just watch for now. If you don't wanna make this one, you can always just watch. Set up your patterns. All right, T, T, and T. Right? All right, so we have these beautiful nine patch grids. But now we're gonna be basically making a quilt. We made a quilt, do you guys remember with our hands in class? We made a quilt with the, I think it was like orange, yellow, and red, and we made the quilt with all of our hands. So same thing, we're gonna use a quilt out of these nine patches. So if you guys have a quilt, awesome, go grab one. Maybe if your grandma has a, I'm not trying to be, I'm not saying that your grandma makes quilts, but most, Older people make quilts. I don't know. It's just a hobby you pick up as you age. Don't know why. I think I'll probably do it when I get older because it is an expensive hobby too. So with these quilts, these nine patches, I'm going to take a look at this one. If I were to turn it 90 degrees, it turns like this, right? It turns like that. If I turn it another 90 degrees, it's gonna look like this. If I turn it another 90 degrees, it looks like this. So I will post a video about angles for math today so that way you guys can like understand and hear the angles, 90, what 90 degrees is. It's like if you were to turn. So like say if you stand up, let's see, I'm gonna stop sharing really fast. I'm gonna go back to this video. Say if I were to stand up right? I'm going to stand up. If I turn 90 degrees, it'd be right here. If I turn another 90 degrees, it'd be to the back. Another 90 degrees, another 90 degrees. But, so we're basically just turning one direction each time. Same thing with the nine patch grids. So let's go back to my shared screen. <laughs> my puppy, I can hear him in the background. He throws his ball down the stairs and then he and then he runs downstairs and grabs it. And then he runs back up and then he, he drops the ball and it down, bounces all of the, down all the stairs and then he goes and grabs it. So he kind of plays fetch with himself. So we're gonna take our 90 patch, or nine patch grid. We're going to turn it 90 degrees. So if I were to turn this like this, it's gonna look like this, right? Yep, sure will. Now, same thing, we're gonna start with this one. If I were to place it right here, but then I'm gonna turn it 90 more degrees, it's gonna look like this, right? Now, if I start right here, I turn it 90 degrees, it's gonna look like this picture, right? And then it's going to look like this picture. But now we're gonna turn it another, another ah, I can't even speak, another 90 degrees. It's gonna look like this. So take a look at this T, it looks like it's standing up, it's falling to the side. It's head, oh, whoops. It is head down. And then it turns back to its other side. Oh, awesome. So we're going to try another one because the third one you guys are going to do yourself. We're going to try it. All right, friends. So I'm going to use my handy dandy scissors so that way it hits a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. All right, so I have four. I'm going to have four squares. Like I said, if you need to pause the video, my friends, I'm just doing this a little bit faster so that way I can show you all. All right. Like I said, it doesn't have to be super fancy. You don't need to break out a ruler for these lines. Just kind of has to make sure you look, you're making like a tic-tac-toe grid, <laughs> right? Looks like it. All right, so bam, bam, bam. We have 
our nine patch grids. With our nine patch grids, we know that there's nine different sections. Now let's do a different design. So don't focus on those ones. You're gonna do one design on one card. One design on one card. You can fill as many or as few as you would like. But let's see, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the corners. I'm gonna do the corners. Maybe the middle too. I'll do five. Five are colored in. Four are not. Five plus four equals what? Oh, you guys are smart cookies. Five plus four is nine. All right, I'm gonna make every single other nine patch grid in my set of four identical to this one. So I'm gonna color the corners. I'm gonna color the middle, and I'm gonna color over here. Corners, middle, over here. Corner, middle, over here. Corner, middle, over here, right? I'm doing this fast. A marker might actually be helpful if you guys have one. Pens kind of, they don't cover a lot of space because the tip is so small compared to a marker. Look at this. You guys know this, you're professional color, colors. <laughs> All right, so we're almost done. My boys like to play inside the house. And they bark and they just bite each other. It's like a play bite. It's like my boys in the classroom. You guys touch each other, but nicely, but I, we have to keep our hands to ourselves. Unfortunately, we all are keeping our hands to ourselves now. All right, so they all look the same. That one's a little darker because I colored it a little differently, but that's all right. So if I were to have, this is kind of funny because this one, if I flip it, if I hop, it's gonna look like this. If I hop again, it's gonna look like this. And if I hop again, it's gonna look like this. But we originally started like this. So it's kind of funny to see the patterns. So from here, if, this is how it looks. We're gonna turn it and we're gonna connect it. Same thing this one. We're gonna start with the original. We're gonna turn it. We're gonna turn it. We're gonna connect it. And same thing with this one. We're going to imagine it like this. Flip it 90 degrees. Flip it 90 degrees. And flip it 90 degrees. So, uh, my nine patch wasn't so lovely, but you can see that on the book, I'll show you. If you take a look, that's what they should look like. Remember, we colored the corners in the middle. Corners, middle, corners, middle, corners, middle. Now, when they connected it, since theirs was in a precise cube, which means it was the same size, that's what it should have looked like. So it's kind of neat because you can see a quilt and it actually makes like a big uh, square with four grids in it. You can see that these two are connected, these two are connected, these two are connected. You can kind of see like a, a square right here with all four corners colored in and the middle. All right, friends, so this last one is up to you. I would love for you guys to just create one more. Try making all the pages evenly. Honestly, I think my best my best bet was when I when I licked them. So I would like you guys to create one more grid. Okay. I want you to cut it, or excuse me, not cut it, but I want you to flip it. So it'll start at the top, it'll flip 90 degrees, it'll flip 90 degrees, it'll flip 90 degrees, and then it'll make a quilt. It'll make some sort of design, some sort of pattern. So send me what you have. I will post another link in Google Classroom, friends. And that's it for today. Bye.